Hey there, guys. I'm Andrew Seamer from Inventive.io. Today, we're going to take another look at our Express apps that we're creating inside a node. Uh, we've kind of built some simple apps. We've discussed middleware. And now we're going to actually look at how to generate a full-blown app for bigger projects. To start working with Express Generator, you do obviously need to have Node installed, just like we've seen and discussed in previous Express videos. But we also need to install Express Generator itself, which is a separate package from Express or Node. So to do that, we'll do npm install Express Generator dash G. We want to install this globally so that we'll have it for other projects. And once that's done, we're ready to create or scaffold uh, an Express app using Express Generator. The one thing to note here, you'll see that I'm in Node Express Generator on the terminal. And then inside of Sublime Text, you'll see that I have, I'm in Node Express Generator, which has three other folders in it. When doing the Express Generator, uh, it's going to create your entire app into a folder. So you don't want to be in the folder you want to create your app in. You want to be one level up. And all you do is type Express and then the name of the app. So in my case, I'm going to say Express Generator Start. This is actually going to create that folder and then put all of the scaffolded Express app elements inside of it. And it's that simple. So if we go into Express Generator Start, you'll see effectively a whole app that's been created here. Now we've covered the body parser, we've covered Express. Uh, when we go through here, you'll see that they've created uh, users, but specifically uh, this whole app file has been done in such a way it's a little bit more scalable than starting from scratch. So in this case, we actually have routes defined. So if we go over here in the routes folder, we can pull open users. And inside of here, you'll see that the users route has been created for us and is pulled into the app uh, just like so. Var users equals require routes users. So this is a much more manageable project structure than what we were working with before. Uh, where in our simple app, we just create files directly and just start working from there. It's got a view engine plugged in here uh, called Jade. We'll go over that in future videos. Uh, we've got loggers, again, body parsers for JSON, we've got cookie parsers. We'll cover each of these things uh, so that you understand how all of these work. We've also got a 404 handler in case somebody requests something that doesn't exist. This will be a much better working experience for the end user. Uh, we've got error handlers. So this is kind of like a global error handler. If something happens inside of our Express app, uh, again, we can capture it and do something a little bit more with it. Or if we're in the development environment, we'll actually throw the error so that we can actually parse it from a, a dev perspective and see what's going on. So we'll cover all the ins and outs of this, but let's just make sure that this is actually running. So we can drop down here. Uh, again, we created it inside of a new folder. So in this case, the Express Generator Start. So let's go into Express Generator Start. And now that this app is fully installed, uh, you will notice that inside of our package JSON, uh, we do have a bunch of dependencies on other packages, uh, but you'll notice that these packages don't currently exist inside of our project. So we can do npm install. And what this is going to do is go and grab all of these packages for us. And all of those will be installed. And once everything's installed, then we'll actually be able to run our Express app. So we can do that by saying npm and start. And now we actually have our app started. If you're curious where it's going to start at, if you forgot what the default port is, uh, you'll see in here that we are starting up on port 3000. So we'll go over to our browser and type in HTTP uh, localhost port 3000. And this gives us a welcome to Express. Nice. And if you recall, we also have a users endpoint defined. So we can come in here and go to users and we respond with a resource. Uh, specifically, if we go into users, respond with a resource. So as you can see, this gives you a lot more to work with rather than creating your Express app from scratch. Uh, you can use the Express generator to build out this or scaffold out this folder structure and app structure, uh, which gives you a little bit more flexibility if you're building something a little bit bigger. Today, we looked at Express Generator. Uh, this is just an extension of the series that we've been working with, looking at uh, Express apps, how to build them, 
uh, their inner workings, and now the Express Generator. In future videos, we'll take a look at all of the packages that Express Generator has introduced to us, uh, just to make sure that we understand all of these pieces. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at hello at inventive.io. Uh, feel free to send in any requests and we will get those covered for you. Uh, if you found this video useful, please feel free to like it and of course share it with your friends. This is Andrew Seamer with inventive.io. Until next time.